50,000 people waiting to see the revival of the greatest name in British mercantile history. The wife of the Cunard White Star chairman mounts the platform into a boisterous northwest wind, and the moment has come. This is a red letter day, not only for me, but for Merseyside. The launch of the largest ship that has ever been built in England. I hope that like her namesake, she may work her way into the affections of all who have to do with her on both sides of the Atlantic. To the ship and all who serve or sail in her, I wish all good fortune. I name you Mauritania. Lady Bates steps back and the champagne swings into a frothy white patch on the dark paint. Then comes a second ceremony. Lady Bates turns a small winch, the British and American flags slide apart to show the name in great brass letters, and the 34,000-ton new Mauritania glides to the sea. is bound up with the sea. May the new Mauritania play her part in maintaining the supremacy of British seamanship, and may she, like her namesake, win for herself a permanent place in the history of our country and in the affection of the people on both sides of the Atlantic. <laughs> <laughs> 